Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how you can migrate your previously filed data from old TDS platform to the new and advanced clear TDS. All you need to do is to click on clear TDS tab. Select the director for which you want to transfer the data. Here you will see many options. One among them is the TDS return. Click on that tab. All the previously filed returns will be visible in, inside this tab. Suppose we have to transfer the data for Q1 FY 2223, we will select on work on this return. You can see the previously filed data here. Scroll down and go to request from traces and click on this button import from traces. As you have previously filed through clear TDS, all the details are autofilled. You just have to enter the traces password and the 16 digit PRN number or the token number. So let me copy the password. And just we click on submit. A new pop up window will come where you will have to enter the captcha. Submit the capture, you will get a confirmation message from our side saying connecting with traces. This might take some time. Please wait. Do not refresh the page or do not exit this page. Once the request is successfully submitted, you will be routed to a new window. As you can see, we have been routed to a new window and this is the latest request which we have put and the status says being processed by traces. Usually there is a wait time of 30 to 40 minutes to get the consolidated file from the traces website. Keeping the time in mind, I have already pre-downloaded the data. I will just click on download and the console file will be downloaded in my local system. Now let us move to the new TDS platform. So the URL for the new platform is app.clear.in. When you click on that, you will be landing on the sign up page where you can sign up using your user ID and password or directly log in through Google. As this is the first time sign up, you will have to create a workspace. So if you are a registered business, you will enter your legal name. If you are a tax expert or a chartered accountant, you can just enter your own name. In my case, I will just enter my name and I will keep the turnover bracket less than 25 CR. If there is any ERP you are using for maintaining your books, you can use that or you can simply select others. Products that you will be interested in, that is if you practice in GST, e-invoicing or if your business is eligible for e-way billing or you want to explore our different products, you can select that. But in this scenario, we will go ahead with TDS only and click on continue. Again, they will ask you for the name. I will put my own name here and again in the designation, I will put as others and click on continue. Here we land to the CFC platform, Clear Finance Cloud, where we have all the different products which we offer. In this session, we will only be talking about TDS. So let us click on the TDS tab here again. The first and the foremost thing you will have to do in the TDS platform is adding a deductor. So click on this button, add deductor. There are two ways of doing it. One is import file, that is the .tds file, which we have downloaded, the consolidated file, and the other option is entering the data manually. Let me show you the manual process first. In the manual process, you have to enter all the details which are marked mandatory. Once you enter these details, the director will be created. But this is a bit time consuming process. So we recommend, we prefer doing it through the first option that is import files. Click on import. It will ask you for that .tds file, the consolidated file. Click on that. We have this file which we have recently downloaded and click enter. 
If your file is password protected, you will have to enter the password. In my case, there is no password protection. So I will simply click on the bottom button. Within few seconds, the detector will be added. You can see on the right hand side corner, we get a successful message as well. Great. Now we can see that one detector has been added. We didn't have to manually enter all those details. We'll click on finish and it will show me the PAN number and the director's name. We'll click on continue. And this is the user interface for, of our new product. Now let me take you back to the previous software. Here you will see that I have downloaded the return for financial year 22-23 for Q1 quarter and the form was 24Q. So here I will go to 24Q. There are two options, original return and correct, correction return. We will have to select the correction return here. Select the financial year as 22-23 and the first quarter and click on apply. As we have added, added the deductor, you can see that is auto populated here. You click on that and click on continue. Now in this software, we also have an option of directly importing the consolidated file from traces. But if you do it from here, you will have to enter all those BRN code and Chalan number, Chalan details, Chalan amount manually. If you are using our previous software, we recommend you downloading the consolidated file from that software itself which we have already done. So we'll simply click on select consolidated file, the same file which we have used to add the director, we will select that file and click on open. Depending on your data size, this will be imported into the software. In our case, it was only 100 plus deductions. So within few seconds, this data will be imported successfully in the new TDS platform. While the data is getting imported, it will check for errors and duplicates. Once the data is successfully downloaded or imported into the software, we will get a success message. All we need to do is click on finish and see the results. You can see all the reductions, chalans and directories have been added to this software. You can edit, add more chalans or edit the reductions which has already been added here. This is how you easily migrate the data from the previous software to the new software.